It's been an intense few months for the contestants, who've been busy with rehearsals and other events relating to the pageant. This year there's been a large focus on fundraising, with the show collecting money exclusively for the Calpe House Fund, something the contestants have done both at an individual level and through the launch of a charity single. One of the things that happened with uh, the charity single and uh, the charity aspect is that in the initial stages of this show it swallowed up a lot of the production time uh, for the show but we were pleased to do that because we wanted to do again something different and it's just been great to see how the contestants uh, as a group have embraced Scalpe House as a charity. Uh, they're going to be talking very briefly about it uh, tomorrow night uh, as well because it's been a learning curve for all of us and of course as a community we need to raise six million pounds so we've done a little bit of fundraising but the main issue here has been to help raise awareness and I think that everybody now knows that Galpe House needs our help and hopefully people will continue supporting it beyond Mr. Gibraltar 2016. Transforming a well-known space like the John McIntosh Hall is always a challenge but something stage one has enjoyed taking on. Set, lights and technical effects are all part of the setup this year. I mean, the challenge is always there, uh, particularly when you want to try and do something new. On this project, we've been working very closely with uh, companies like Jib Media, who are providing a lot of the technical effects uh, for us. But I, what I think we've wanted to do with uh, this uh, show, and another question that I get asked a lot is, is there a theme? There's no particular theme. But I say that the theme is fun. We've wanted to do something that's fresh, that's young, that's very 2016. And I think that people are going to find it very different. And there's always a big emphasis on entertainment, with producers once again going for the popular formula of using both local and international talent. After hours, we'll be providing all the live music with West End performer Kerry Ellis as the guest act. Organisers Stage 1 are looking forward to the event, with preparations well underway for tonight's dress rehearsal and all set for the big night tomorrow. Every group of contestants is uh, different. They all start with their strengths and weaknesses. This is a group of nine contestants who've worked extremely, extremely hard and so, so well. And I think that's going to be reflected on stage tomorrow, the big night. Tomorrow night, a fantastic show, fun, entertainment, exciting, there's going to be competition on stage. I think it's going to be a fantastic night. So who will be crowned Miss Gibraltar 2016? All will be revealed tomorrow. The show will be broadcast live by GBC as from 8.30pm.